Hey everyone, welcome to Gastromania. There is a dish I look forward to having every time I return to Singapore from the UK. Dried oyster porridge. It's perfect for rainy and cold weathers. When you don't know what to make for dinner, this is a simple one pot solution. Let's get right into the recipe. First, we have our main ingredients. 45 grams of dried scallops and 70 grams of dried oysters. About 3 hours before cooking, wash them and soak them in water to allow them to soften and release flavours. Keep the soaking liquids to be added to the porridge later on as they contain a lot of flavours after soaking for so long. This step must not be skipped because dried goods, especially dried oysters, requires a lot of time to soften via soaking in the water. Otherwise, the dried oysters will be hard on the inside. At the same time, prepare about 1 cup of rice for about 4 people's consumption. Add some salt and oil into it and keep it in the fridge ahead of the cooking. This will make the texture of the porridge more silky when cooked later on. Next, prepare the chicken. I'll not be showing you how to slice the chicken fillets as that's pretty easy, but I would like to highlight the part about removing the tendons from the meat. Please remove the tendons from the meat as the tendons makes the meat really hard to chew and it will make your meal less enjoyable than it should be. It's really easy to remove the tendons. First, look for the white strip inside the meat. Then, make a shallow incision into the meat and pull the thicker end of the tendon. Using a sharp knife, slice between the meat and the tendon, pulling the tendon and allowing the meat and tendon to separate out. After cutting up the chicken, let's season it. Here's a summary of the seasonings used for the chicken. Pause the video if you need to refer to it. First, we have 1 tablespoon of soy sauce. This will add some umami to the chicken and make it taste better. Then, we have 1 teaspoon of cornstarch. This will make the chicken more silky and improve on its texture. Next, we add 1 tablespoon of Chinese cooking wine. We add this to remove any gamey smells coming from the chicken. Following that, we add 1 teaspoon of sesame oil. This will make the chicken and the porridge more fragrant. Lastly, we add some white pepper powder to bring another depth of flavour for the chicken. It makes it slightly smoky and better tasting. Mix all the seasoning well until you are unable to see the solid seasonings. Set aside the chicken for later use. Next, chop up some spring onions finely. This is for garnishing purposes at the end of the cooking process. While we are cutting up the spring onions, I would like to ask everyone what are some comfort foods that you guys must eat whenever you miss home? Share it with me in the comments down below. With that, let's get cooking! First, add water to the rice prepared earlier and let it reach a boil. Once it starts boiling, add the soaked dry scallops and dried oysters into the boiling water. Remember to add the soaking liquids as they are full of flavour after soaking these seafoods for 3 hours. Don't waste them. Stir everything well. Turn on high heat and let the water boil. Once the water has started boiling, you have to watch out for the scum forming on the surface of the water. This is coming from both the dried seafoods and the rice. Constantly remove it. You will be removing it a few times during this whole cooking process. At the same time, occasionally stir the porridge to prevent the porridge from sticking and charring at the bottom. If that happens, you're gonna have tough washing to do later on. Let it boil away for around 15 minutes where the water level is low. The rice has not released all its starch at this point. You can tell by looking at the consistency of the liquid. It's too watery. At this point, we add some water and let it boil again. We are aiming to reach a point where the porridge can coat the back of the spoon nicely when you dip the spoon into the porridge. It's difficult to give a timing as the stove heat and the type of pot will change the time taken. 
After adding the water, you will need to constantly stir the mixture and scrape the base, as this will stick to the bottom of the pot and char very easily if left unattended for even 15 seconds. Let the water boil off until this point. At this point, add marinated chicken into the porridge and stir the porridge very quickly, as the chicken will cook very fast. If you do not stir it, the chicken will clump together. The reason why we add the chicken at this point is to prevent overcooking, as it will become very dry if you do so. After adding the chicken, we can start seasoning the porridge. We add 2 teaspoons salt and a dash of ground white pepper. The amount to add can be adjusted based on your personal preference. Lastly, also add in 2 teaspoons of soy sauce for some umami taste and coloration of the porridge. Again, you may adjust it based on your personal preference. Stir in all the seasonings and your oyster porridge is done. While serving the porridge, please take note that you must constantly stir the porridge and scrape the base as the pot is still very hot and the porridge will stick and char at the base if the pot is left unattended. If that happens, you're gonna have a hard time washing up later. Garnish the porridge with some of the spring onions prepared earlier. The green onion will contrast well against the white porridge and dark dried oysters. For some crunch, you can also prepare some fried silver fish to add into the porridge. Mix all of them up and you have a really hearty dinner that is so simple to prepare. If you are feeling fancy, you can even add fried breadsticks to dip into the porridge. Mmm, tastes just like home. If you like this oyster porridge recipe, consider subscribing for 2 recipes a week. If you have any dish you would like to see demonstrated, please let me know in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to share. The next episode will be on prawn noodles, and I'll see you in the next episode.